Okay, good afternoon, YouTube. Looks like the mailman just dropped off this box. Uh, came from Amazon and Pluggable Technologies. Came pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it quite this fast, but let's use this. Uh, this is the uh, an old buck. 10 point buck collector's knife that I got. Uh, must have bought this quite a while ago. It's from Franklin Mint. Makes a good box cutter. And let's see what Pluggable Technologies sent us. There we go. Get that where we can see that. It is a USB digital microscope. I got this because I wanted to be able to look at some of these um, when I took apart some of those Craftsman batteries. They use all surface mount uh, SMT technology and it seems like a lot of the parts are labeled but it's really hard to get any uh, good pictures of what the parts are and, and uh, to be able to look them up and, and figure out how that thing works. So this is supposed to be a little, it's a USB camera, got a USB port, and then it's also got built-in lighting, and there's a little uh, stand here. So I guess what I'll do is I'll try plugging this in. You've got to load. Uh, uh, when I placed the order, they sent me an e email the next day. Said, you know, here's where you get the updated drivers. There is a driver CD in the box and some instructions. But apparently they've got updated drivers. And uh, this has got a. It's got a focus ring, and then it's got. Uh, there's like eight LEDs, built-in illumination, and then you take that cap off, and you can actually, uh, by placing this down over what you want to look at, you get a nice uh, uh, zoomed-up image. You can zoom in or out. It says it does uh, 50x optical magnification, 200 digital Okay, YouTube, this is uh, the web page that uh, Pluggable sends you to, pluggable.com, and then this is the USB 2-micro-200x uh, page. It's the updated web page. You just scroll down. They've got drivers for uh, setup and drivers for Windows, for Mac. Uh, clicked on micro capture software driver download for Windows and then you get the micro capture application let's see yeah and I've got the uh, the microscope down on some text out of my laser printer and that looks like it works so I guess this is where they uh, get the 200x magnification is based on you know the size on your screen to the size of the printed text okay here's a close-up uh, this is what I was trying to tell you about the, the looks like they've put some conformal coating over uh, the some of the ICs on this this is the C3 battery pack battery management board and you can see there's the text is there, it's just really hard to read. Uh, but this is zoomed up, this is the little surface mount uh, chip here. You can see there's what, uh, what do we have? Two, four, six, eight, sixteen pin IC. And there's some letters there. I see, uh, I'll have to play with this a bit, see if I can get the lighting just right. but. Uh, you can 
can see the little surface mount capacitors and yeah there's there we go you can like I say it's really hard to get the you can see some of the you got to get the sh the lighting and the shadow because you can only pick up the text in the shadows uh, when there's because it's so shiny looks like there's an eight down there at the bottom and a 4a NV maybe on the second line yeah so I'll maybe try to uh, capture some of this video uh, as a separate file and then see if I can edit that into the uh, YouTube video and uh, it'll probably look a little better than it does here on the I'm shooting the screen with the camera and it would probably be better to go directly uh, direct from the video capture on the microscope and get you a direct copy of that so I'll give that a try have to see what formats they support and uh, how all that works but uh, yeah it looks like the little microscope seems to work pretty good so I'll, I'll play around with the uh, video see if I can figure out the right uh, lighting and viewing angles to uh, pick up that text through that conformal coating and we'll see if we can figure out what sort of uh, I see and this is they label this U2 so that someplace there's another uh, integrated circuit so I've got to find that too. Anyway I'll try uh, capturing some video and see if we can cut that into the into the uh, YouTube video and you can see what it looks like uh, directly.